Hello and welcome to gogeeko.com. In this video, you will learn how easy it is to create key gen transformation in IDQ Developer Tool. Key generator transformation is used to generate the same key over and over again for the same incoming values. It's mainly used in conjunction with your match transformation, where match transformation needs a couple of input ports which are are generated by key gen transformation so let's look at the key gen transformation so now I have opened my developer tool and what we would be doing in this developer tool is we will be reading data from my source file Boston customers and we will use a key gen transformation to create a key for a set of names first name last name so for every first name and last name Name, or in other words for every same combination of first name and last name my key generator will create a key based on those two names and then we will load that into a target Oracle table so in this mapping I'm also showing how to load data into a target database table within IDQ so let's go ahead and create a mapping first give a relevant name so once my mapping is is there I will bring in my source and in IDQ I will get my source as read okay and then I need to get in my target to get in my target I'll go to physical data object go to physical data object new relational data object browse and hit more because the connection which I want is not there so I'm also showing you how to create a connection within IDQ developer tool so you will choose whatever database you want Want. in this case it's going to be Oracle and hit add and I will say my name as tute next my username is actually tutorial so you give all this necessary information your connect string by default is usually ORCL but you can get all that information from your Oracle DBA okay so once connection is successful hit finish and you will see that connection here hit ok and now you will choose your tutorial hit ok and you will browse and you will get to the target table which you want in this case it's going to be customer staging table and hit finish you can simply close that and let's bring in our target now the target will always be as right hit ok now let's get the expression transformation just to stick with the best practices in this case let's say from my source I don't have any ID coming even though there is coming but just to showcase key gen transformation functionality so key gen just write key gen so on what basis you want to generate a key so let's say I want to generate a key based on the first name and last name so that will go into my input column and now let's hit on the key gen and go to properties here and go to strategies and here if you look at strategies you will say sound X or string or NYSS. So let me talk about SoundX because it can be really useful when you do fuzzy matching. So SoundX will generate your key based on how the name sounds. So sometimes you might misspell a name or your source system misspells the name but KeyGen will still create the same ID for those names where there might be a little bit of spelling mistake and the string will be the exact string so even if it's misspelled it will create two separate IDs if those were misspelled so for now just to showcase keygen I will simply use string or sound X doesn't matter so let's say sound X and the NYSYS which I'm not that familiar but let's go and check the help file and doing this I also want to show you how easy it is to find anything which might not make sense to you so in in that case just go to the help contents 
in this case i'm looking for transformation help for key generator so let's see where is my key generator right here and i will say here nyc strategy so what it is it is nyc strategy analyzes words and creates group keys from letters that represents word pronunciation so something related to word pronunciation so the difference between sound x strategy only considers first vowel in a string the nyc strategy analyzes vowels throughout a string so to me nyc is better for sound related or fuzzy related matching if there are chances in your source data where misspellings are more prevalent so use nyc strategy there so in this case let's just use sound x and my input is the last name i also want to include my first name so i will again use the sound x for my first name as well it says the key length so it will consider the first three letters of your last name and first three letters of your first name so if you want to generate a bigger wider key then you will use the more length so you can go up to maybe six or maybe more but usually three is fine especially if you're using more than one value to generate the key again keep that in mind key gen makes more sense when you use with your match transformation because match transformation will create a group based on these keys so just keep that in mind and that way the match transformation does not have to match based on all your source data but it will match only within that group where your key is same maybe i'm sure this will not make much sense to you right now especially if you are a beginner but it will when i get to match transformation which is one of the very important transformation within idq because it gives you the ability to do fuzzy matching so let's get back to keygen and let's create an expression transformation again just to see how my key is and what is my sequence id and what's my first name last name now let's check our source whether it has the data or not so i'm running the data viewer by right clicking all right i have my source data now let's get to the key gen and run the data viewer on my key gen and let's see what happens so if you look at it it has created some kind of a key for this name for prosthetic it has created a key something like this so now let's load the data i mean the whole point of this tutorial is just to show you the key gen transformation and use of it but at the same time we are also loading data into a target oracle table so my key is actually group key and i will leave my first name as first name and my last name as last name so hit save for now now I'm just inserting three columns I can insert more keep in mind you need to pass all your columns through the key gen if you want to load more data so just a quick tip there so let's validate it always validate a mapping in IDQ so just make a practice of that and run mapping and let's see looks like it's done let's directly go to our target table and see whether the data is there or not i had truncated my target table before loading so let's see if there is any data all right so it looks like we got our key the new key and we have our target data as well so just to show how the key gen works and how it creates is the same key always i'm copying brian chan and the key and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna truncate this table and i will run my mapping again to see whether it actually creates the same key or not so let's run that mapping should be quick go back get the data and if you look at it loaded the data again and it is the same key so that's the point which i wanted to make that sometimes there are needs where you can create a key based on your natural keys which sometimes could be your first name last name or some kind of address and you can create a key using the key gen transformation again 
the main use of keygen will be in conjunction with match transformation that we will cover later but now you should know how to use the key generator transformation this completes this particular video and in our next tutorial we would be covering more idq transformations thanks for watching this video and do check out our website gogeeko.com for more easy to learn videos bye now